We've seen how they're grown, cut, picked, packed, and sold. The question is, what to do with them now? Here in San Diego, there's just one person to ask. We are in the studio of Renee Van Rems, Renee Van Rems International, and look at this place. It's absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. I brought you some flowers. Oh, thank you. Where are all these flowers from? Well, believe it or not, almost everything is from San Diego County. Some of these are field grown, some of them are greenhouse grown, but it's, the, it's a huge variety from all the different temperate zones that we have in San Diego, as you know. Definitely. Um, We've been visiting some of those greenhouses and some of those growers, and so I'm thrilled to see their flowers here. And I'm thrilled to see what you're going to do now. Will you teach us how to do flower <laughs> arranging? Sure, in three minutes or less. Just be gentle with me, okay? <laughs> I'll be gentle. I'm European. I'll be gentle. Thank you. Well, you know, most of the time when people design, they do flower by flower. And so if you're in a rush or the guests are coming and you are in a rush, then and you haven't done your flowers yet, if you do them yourself, there is a way to make it easier. And that is to just take little clusters of different flowers and put them in a container cluster by cluster rather than and one flower and another flower and another flower. So what you're going to do is make sure there's no leaves below in the water so you pretty much you're pretty much stripped clean there so that's good now this is such a woody stem that you can take pruners and just cut them all at the same time you just go like this and that's going to go just let it sit like that beautiful uh, we have some Elstromeria. This is actually grown uh, locally here in San Diego County. So these um, are also called Peruvian lilies. Peruvian and these are some lilies. of my favorite garden flowers. And they last forever. I mean, these are the buds, right? We just got these. And what you're going to do is you're going to what we call strip. So all the foliage has to come off. And all this of foliage it? you wouldn't have seen anyway. Okay, wait, but aren't I leaving this foliage up yeah, here around stays. the flowers? Okay. It's, it's particularly the, the foliage that would be in the water because you want your flowers to last. And if the water is full of leaves, the bacteria are going to be having a party. And that's when my flowers die, right? When you that, get the bacteria in the water. Yes. There, there's only two ways why, why flowers die. One is if they don't have any water. And believe it or not, most people do not um, add water to their flowers. The other one is that they don't take care of the flowers when they put them in the water and all those leaves are going to decay and the bacteria will kill the flowers. That's the very short way of putting it. So now that you have those in your hand, you're going to take your floral knife, just cut them all. There like you go. Like that? Is that yeah. a sharp enough angle? That's fantastic. Oh, good. Anything is better than nothing or scissors. Yeah. So there's a cluster. So the hair comes on one yeah. side and I'm putting these on all, this side. Yep. There you go. And as long as they're all in water, the long one, there you go. Good. So there's that one. Then um, we're going to put a few of these spray roses. These are commercially grown roses, of course, but instead of having the typical one bloom on the stem, there are many on one stem. So that really gives you a, and the same thing there, you just strip it. You're going to cut them that way. See how therapeutic this is? <laughs> yeah, I'm cutting. Anytime I prune or cut, that's very therapeutic. This, you go in another corner. So now it looks like that. So you, I'm putting the stems in. I can tell the hypericum's kind of holding everything in place. It's like a grid. Yep, exactly. Now, we have these killer Gerbera. These are, actually, we call these Germini. This is a really fantastic little flower. Um, there's one little, trip, little um, trick I need to tell you about, and that is Gerberas don't need to be in a lot of water. They like to be in a little bit of water because the stems, can, you can feel, they're so peachy. Oh, yeah, they're fuzzy. They're fuzzy? Yeah. The water goes up on the stem, and that's where the bacteria starts. So if they're in less water, they last longer. But I made a little cluster there. And same thing, go like that, and that goes over here. Look at you. Oh, it's beautiful. So, so now we've got these four, right? And then for the piece de resistance, we're going to put some roses in here. These roses are also kind of going to connect all the, the colors together. Now, these I'm going to do one at a time. So I'm just cut, and roses need to be cut on a big slant. Well, you know what I like about this? I can imagine putting this on a table and having it in the center of the table and my guests can still talk to each other over and the see top. each other, yes. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. My pleasure.